Okay, so let's have a look at the MATLAB application. Um, it's divided by tiles, and the first one is the Raspberry connection. You have basically two buttons, connect and disconnect, and the IP address of the Raspberry, because you have to to be connected at the same at the same net. Let's connect. Once connected, the button are um, enabled and so as you can see we received the data from the robot and the speed and the position now if you if we uh, have a reset position we set all the position of the GPS and the leader to zero zero so the starting position then you have the manual mode and basically here are just command uh, to move the robot, here the speed, and all the um, commands are sent to ROS. So we see here uh, ROS topic list. We can see all the topic of ROS. Uh, most of them are made. Um, in the raw serial node in the Arduino program. So, for example, command manual or automatic is the mode if you want to switch between position mode or manual mode. So, we will see in position mode is the automatic mode and we send a position to the robot and the robot will reach that position. On common speed, for example, if we look at uh, with our topic echo and the name of the topic we will see that MATLAB node subscribed to that topic can write some data here so when we change when we change the speed here uh, is received in the um, in, this, in this first topic and so the Arduino can read uh, the topic as well I can change its speed and then we can see here we can move the robot and here we have all the data in real time the position, the autometry For example, also the IMU, and so you can see if we turn a bit, uh, disconnect, and level. Have a look at the code. Okay, this is the code. So the part is the design view, where you can put the button and all the stuff and then here is the uh, startup function so when uh, the application is launched is the first um, function that is called uh, the important thing is this one that create a timer at fixed rate of uh, in this case is uh, 100 milliseconds so every 100 milliseconds, they call uh, MATLAB call automatically this uh, uh, this function. Okay, is get worst data. So every 100 milliseconds, I get uh, the data from ROS. Okay, so let's have a look when we connect to the um, to ROS to the Raspberry. We create a Raspberry object with the Raspberry toolbox, and then Basically, we execute uh, two script in the Raspberry. So our store in the Raspberry is ROS setup. So if we connect, this is the Raspberry connected by SSH, and we see the ROS setup. We search the file where um, 
the ROS packets are stored. And then we set this uh, the Raspberry as a master with, by this three um, instruction. And then with the common screen, we execute ROS core. So it's the, uh, the master, the, the main node of ROS. I use a screen because it can handle multiple process at the same time. So because I need ROS core and then uh, as you can see we executed the second uh, script that is launch to start the lead the ROS serial node so communicate with Arduino and is, com uh, is connected by serial at this baud, baud rate and then also the leader node and the slam node. We define the ROS topic and message. Now we want to publish in this topic. So common mode, common manual, common speed and common tray. So MathLab it's a publisher of this topic. What does it mean? It means that it can write some data in this topic. And for example, this one is a uint8 command mode. It's just a zero or one if, if I want to switch in the manual mode or automatic mode. Command manual is uh, as well as uh, integer and send depending on the button pressed it send one of these commands that I uh, code as as follow like uh, ROS command stop is a zero to go forward is one backward two and so on so are the, the MATLAB node published on the topic and the other end MATLAB uh, is a subscriber of that ones of that topic. So robot pose, robot speed, robot emu, robot leader are published by Arduino and read it here in MATLAB. And also this one and also this one and this one is generated by the, the SLAM uh, node. So once it's connected uh, we change the button properties that one is changed just the, um, the visualization of the button so now it can be pressed and then importance the start of the of the timer so let's have a look of the function that received the data so basically depending on the um, the topic that i said before we have the autometry data from the, the robot pose topic latest message dot position dot x uh, latest message dot something it depends of the type of the message so for example this this one is a post message so you have uh, position and orientation and on the dometry message I can send all of this data and then I receive also the lidar the common filter the marble mine GPS speed and, and so on and then I update the plot using um, animated line so that are defined here that's important in the startup function I declare this animated line so for example the position line the position of the robot is an animated line and I will plot in uh, UE axis pos that is this plot and with the color and line width so an animated line then you have to add the the, um, the point to the line adding the point and then uh, when we reach update plot with draw now Okay, uh, it will actually uh, plot the line. I I created uh, a function update plot that it just update uh, a different frequency, 
frequency that sample time uh, just because it needs a lot of uh, memory and CPU uh, power to, to plot the lines. So now we will see the um, positioning mode. And we can generate a trajectory. There are, uh, for example, rectangle, circle, or eight. We can choose the sample of this uh, circle. Uh, Ten points, for example. So let's generate a circle with ten points or twenty. It's better, and so on. But for now, just that's a, a rectangle of one meter for one so it's basically a square with one repetition and so let's back here we send a uh, speed to the robot 30% of the maximum let's uh, enable common filter and fixed orientation so the, um, the heating angle will be fixed to zero now and then just send the trajectory. So you can see here the reference change to the first point of the trajectory and when the robot reached that point it will send another one. And here we can have a look on the speed and x axis and y axis speed the road in a meter per second so now let's finish the the square go back to zero zero and you can see the position is quite good so stop the movement and then we can also see some figure, some plot, plotted data. It's better to disconnect here before doing this operation. Export figure. So we can see the odometry, the odometry, Kalman and GPS leader with GPS and the comparison then you can see the X position and Y position in time here the speed on X and Y axis the speed of the, um, the wheels the occupancy grid is the map created uh, with the slam node so with the leader data and the slam algorithm and here is the robot orientation and the calculated by odometry, the IMU, the lighter and the camera filter so let's have a look at um, the trajectory how we send it to the uh, robot I remember that get roast data is a function that is executed every 100 millisecond and so every 100 millisecond it check if uh, tra trajectory started so this uh, just a flag when I send the the trajectory button I put to one and I will calculate the trajectory next position that is calculated the distance in x and y uh, from the robot position and the target so if this distance is less than the target uh, more a clearance so it's near the target we can send we increase the index of the tray because the trajectory is an array and so we send the other uh, position uh, with sentry pose ROS.